And I was talking to one of our respiratory therapists the other day, and I said, you know, how's it going? How are you doing? And he said, he works nights, and he said, well, you know, I moved to Bakersfield, and I commute here, and I get an Airbnb because I do better financially living in Bakersfield and owning a home. He's building a home. And, you know, my wife and I and my kids, we feel really good about that. We can own a home. I love working at Sierra Vista, but to me it's worth it to come here, rent a room for three nights, do my work, and then go back for my four days off and, you know, live in a home that I can afford and that I can be proud of. I'd like to read you something that one of the people told me. Even as two full-time professionals that make decent money, it's impossible to rent in this area while simultaneously saving for our future, as you had alluded to. This has affected our decision to start a family in this area, as we cannot afford to move into a bigger place. We believe that if we were able to afford renting a bigger place, that we would already have children, or at least one on the way. But we have both decided that until we can afford to buy a home, children are out of the question. People are quite literally deferring life decisions because of the cost of um, housing here. About 23% of our workforce owns a home. Uh, the rest rent. The majority are outside of San Luis Obispo proper. About 10% of our workforce is actively looking for housing or going to have a change in their housing within the next year. So that's 10% of the people that we have working for us that are going to be in flux in some way. And that kind of speaks to a lot of the points that we've made up here and uh, st the stability of housing and having that as kind of the base of your hierarchy of needs. Um, if you're concerned with where you're going to be living and where you're going to call home, you can't much concentrate on the higher level things that you need to achieve both in your personal life and at work. They're living in a home that they maybe they've been for 20 years renting. They're renting $300, isn't that nice? But the landlord wants to sell that home because he's going to make a big you know, profit on this thing. He's in his 80s. Well, you know, what do you do when you've been paying 300 and the, what, uh, the most you could go at this time of your life with your expenses is 600? Everybody that we re relocate here probably 80 to 90 percent of them leave. Um, so they come here, they interview, they get excited about the job. They're a highly specialized professional, let's say a nurse practitioner. They come here, they love the people, they love the life. I mean, what's not to love? That's why we're all here. Um, and then they try to find housing and they get really discouraged. We find if people don't have a tie to San Luis Obispo or some sort of support system to keep them here, they can't find the means to stay. And every time it comes down to housing.